Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the exact value of a trigonometric expressions using the sum and difference formulas and identities of tangent. There are two formulas that we need to remember when we are talking about the sum and difference formulas of tangent. The first one is tangent a plus b, that is tangent a plus tangent b all over 1 minus tangent a times tangent b. And the second one is tangent a minus b, that is tangent a minus tangent b all over 1 plus tangent a times tangent b. So these are the formulas that we need to remember in order for us to find the exact value of a trigonometric expressions. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have tangent 15 degrees. How can we find the exact value of tangent 15 degrees? First, we need to identify two angles in a unit circle that can be add or subtract in order for us to get 15 degrees. And that is 45 degrees and 30 degrees. If you are going to subtract 45 and 30, we can get 15. Therefore, we are going to use tangent A minus B. Tangent A minus B, that is tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A times tangent B. So let us simplify. Let's have tangent A that is 45 degrees minus B that is 30. Let's have tangent A that is tangent 45 degrees minus tangent B that is tangent 30 degrees all over 1 plus tangent A is tangent 45 degrees and tangent B is tangent 30 degrees. Tangent 45 is 1 minus tangent 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3. Divide by 1 plus tangent 45 is 1 times tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. So let's have 3 on the denominator. 3 times 1 is 3 minus square root of 3. And then let's have 1. 1 times square root of 3 over 3 that is square root of 3 over 3. So let us write the numerator that is 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 divide by 3 times 1 that is 3 plus square root of 3 over 3. So let us cancel this one and let's have here 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 plus square root of 3. So whenever you have this kind of equation, let us conjugate in order for us to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator. So let's have 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 minus square root of 3. So let's have 3 minus square root of 3 square over 3 times 3 is 9. Positive times negative is negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So let's simplify. 3 multiplied by itself, that is 9. 3 times negative square root of 3, that is negative 3 square root of 3 times 2, that is negative 6 square root of 3. And then negative times negative is positive. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. Over 9 minus 3, that is 6. So let's have 9 plus 3, that is 12. Minus 6, square root of 3, divide by 6. So let's simplify. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then negative 6 divided by 6 is 1, square root of 3. Or we can write our answer as 2 minus square root of 3. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have tangent 165 degrees. What are the two angles in a unit circle that can be add or subtract in order for us to get 165 degrees? And that is 
135 degrees plus 30 degrees. If you add 135 and 30, you can get 165 degrees. Therefore, we are going to use tangent A plus B. And tangent A plus B, that is tangent A plus tangent B all over 1 minus tangent A times tangent B. So let us simplify. Let's have tangent 135 degrees plus B that is 30 degrees. So this will be the value of A and this will be the value of B. Tangent A that is tangent 135 degrees plus tangent B that is tangent 30 all over 1 minus tangent 135 degrees times tangent 30 degrees. 135 degrees is located in quadrant 2. Therefore, sine in quadrant 2 is positive and cosine in quadrant 2 is negative and tangent is sine over cosine. Therefore, the sine of tangent in quadrant 2 is positive divided by negative is negative. Therefore, tangent 135 degrees, 135, the reference angle is 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees. Tangent 135 in quadrant 2 is negative 1 plus tangent 30, that is square root of 3 over 3 over 1 minus tangent 135, that is negative 1, times tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. So let's have 3 on the numerator. So 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3, plus square root of 3 over 1. Negative 1 times square root of 3, that is negative square root of 3 times negative, is positive square root of 3 over 3. So let us simplify. So let's have negative 3 plus square root of 3 over 3 divided by 3 times 1 is 3 plus square root of 3 over 3. So let us cancel this one. And let's have here negative 3 plus square root of 3 over 3 plus square root of 3. And then let us conjugate. To eliminate the radical sign on the denominator, let's have 3 minus square root of 3 over 3 minus square root of 3. So let's have negative 3 times 3, that is negative 9. And then negative 3 times negative square root of 3, that is negative or positive 3 square root of 3. And then square root of 3 times 3, that is 3 square root of 3. Then Square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, that is negative square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. And then, let's multiply the first term and last term. 3 times 3 is 9. Positive times negative is negative. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So let us simplify. So let's have here negative 9 minus 3, that is negative 12. Square root of 3 or 3 plus square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3, that is 6 square root of 3, over 9 minus 3, that is 6. Therefore, our final answer is negative 12 divided by 6, negative 2, plus square root of 3. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have tangent 20 plus tangent 25, all over 1 minus tangent 20 times tangent 25. As you can see, number 3 is written in the form of tangent A plus tangent B over 1 minus tangent A times tangent B. Therefore, it will give us an idea that we are going to use tangent A plus B. 
the value of A here is 20 and the value of B is 25 degrees. So therefore, tangent 20 degrees plus 25 degrees, that is tangent 45 degrees. And tangent 45 degrees is 1. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have tangent 80 degrees minus tangent 20 degrees all over 1 plus tangent 80 degrees times tangent 20 degrees. So this time, the equation is written in the form of tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A times tangent B. Therefore, it will give us an idea that we are going to have tangent A minus B. And the value of A is 80 degrees and the value of B is 20 degrees. Therefore, we have tangent 80 degrees minus 20 degrees, that is tangent 60 degrees. And tangent 60 degrees is square root of 3. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.